Fulmore's Ashford Stud will add five new stallions to their roster in 2023, and today we spoke with Adrian Wallace about grade one winner Jack Christopher, who's the son of Ashford's own Munnings, as well as Preakness hero Early Voting, who's one of the first sons of brilliant young sire Gunrunner to go to stud. There's no doubt we're blessed to have horses of the caliber of Jack Christopher and Early Voting here, both from Great sire lines with great families, but both horses were, were real, true, proper dirt horses. Uh, early voting, obviously a class, classic type horse. And then Jack Christopher, more of the sprinter, one turn miler type. So it's always very fulfilling when you can when you have a stallion and then you end up standing one of uh, one of his sons. We're very excited to be standing as son of Munnings here. It's the first son of Munnings we've been able to stand. Um, Jack Christopher was on our radar very, very early. He left nobody in any doubt who the best two-year-old was in Saratoga when he won his maiden uh, by eight and a half lengths, becoming a TDN rising star uh, in the process, and then went on to be, be ever so brilliant in the Champagne Stakes. He was a really fast, precocious two-year-old, but then he, he managed to carry it on at three, and that's winning the Pat Day Mile. So he was very impressive that day, and then, then he went on to the, the Woody Stevens, where he left nobody in any doubt on one of the biggest days in the middle of the summer, how, how fast he really was. The, the thing about Jack Christopher is all about speed. You look at him, the way he's built, he's very like his sire in Munnings. He's a, he's a very balanced horse, good mover. He's probably a better looking horse than Munnings is. If he can become as good a sire as Munnings is, we'll be, we'll be very, very happy. But he's from a, from a sire's family, uh, from the family of Street Boss as well, which uh, who, who obviously needs no introduction either. But um, he was all about speed. Uh, he was quick out of the gates. He could get to the front and dominate his races. He was very tactical in the way he, uh, in the way he raced. Um, Chad Brown is quoted as saying he's one of the fastest horses he's ever he's ever trained, so I think that says it all. Being one of the first sons of uh, gun runners to stand at stud, I think it's a, it's a huge privilege to be able to get early boating's career off to a good start. The gun runner is widely perceived as one of the best young stallions in America, having had six grade one winners in his first crop. Now we're very excited to stand what looks like his best son. Um, he's a horse that was you know was a maiden winner at two but went on more importantly to win the preak mistakes uh, at, at three but to do it and to beat a horse like epicenter that day i think really cemented him as one of the best th three-year-olds of his crop um prior to that in the wood he'd finished second to mo donegal uh, who went on to win win the third leg of the triple crown the belmont stakes so i think his form really was very strong throughout the year i think he had speed and i think he was able to carry that speed um, i think he had a, he had a great heart and I think there's no better, no better reflection of that than his race in the Preakness. I think he ran a, a superb race that day. He, his speed took him to the front and, and he kept going. With a 16 to go, early voting shifting over to the rail. It's early voting to take it from Epicenter. I think he's got the size and the balance of Gone Runner, but I think in many ways he looks more like his damn sire is now. He's got the big hip and shoulder. Uh, again, a very correct horse, easy on the eye, very good looking, very masculine head. Um, and comes from Asara's family, he's from the, fa the, the family of Spitestown. So that's really a huge selling point in any horse's careers. And a horse like him uh, will be very popular and has been very popular with breeders so far.